going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I want to thank my sponsor, Steel Supplements. Link discount code down in the description. You also know talk all the time about my Glance LED. And I can confidently tell you right now, I am sitting here recording this video. And in the corner of my eye, I can also see my Glance. It is giving me live, real-time data from everything going on in Major League Baseball, in college football. And I don't have to pay a cent for a subscription fee. You get this unit, best price in the pin comment. It's going to change the way you watch sports. And one of the ways we've approached EA Sports and said, hey, can you change your game is animations. Now, we all know the story. Backbreaker came in years ago, found a way to have a game that wasn't animation dependent, wasn't animation specific. We also know the story of 2K that somehow was able to, to record animations that weren't repetitive, that weren't continually broken. And then we also know the sales pitches we've heard. Sapien Technology last year was going to fix all of these issues. And while I've sat here this week and I've showed you time and time again how these issues can impact gameplay, and trust me, I will show you later on this weekend how no doubt they destroy realism. There is no scope that you can use to actually show how detrimental an animation-dependent game is. And I remember sitting down with Rex Dixon 10 years ago and telling him that EA Sports really just needs to get better. And one of the things we don't want as gamers is a game that we don't feel we have control of. And here we are, decade, probably more later, and we are watching a game be animation specific throughout whether it's the actual handoff whether it's the tackle whether it's the post play and i think one of the things we've learned is that ea sports has focused so much on animations that they're dependent on them more so conveying the emotion after the play to try to bring life to what is a very stale and repetitive game and i think that's why we see so many issues like this because you have the game going through offense, going through defense, going through sidelines and coaches trying to play a multitude of animations so that when you watch the game, you feel as if you're connected. You feel as if these are real players. You feel like there's emotions. But the reality is, as a gamer, you don't feel any of that control. In many ways, I feel madness becomes sort of an optical illusion. It's a game that you watch and you feel like you're playing and you feel like you can maybe have stick skills or maybe beat a friend based on how well you know football. But the reality is we know much of that is not true. There may be some one-off or two-off situations where, yeah, you made a right read or they made a poor read and perhaps you can exploit that for a touchdown or a key tackle. But for the most part, this game has become nothing more than just animations that we watch. In this case, we can look at them and question what in the world is going on. In other cases, we can look at them and question why is this game so bad? Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching it. You know, when you got players convulsing in the field, going over to the sideline, do you really think there's any way that I will not be back in the week with more commentary?